I made a video about this camera before, but it's such an amazing little camera, I have to make another video about it. It's the little Sony RX100 Mark 7. This little thing is so amazing, it can take such amazing footage. And it's a little pocket camera, it's a one-inch sensor, so it's really good resolution. And it's just the most amazing little camera. It's super sharp. And I'm going to show you some shots that I'm doing with it while I'm here on vacation in the Seychelles. Amazing stuff taken with this camera. It has a really good zoom, so you can go really, really far. And you can even get a little bit of a blurry background with it. We visit that telephoto look. You get some telephoto compression in there. It has a really nice look when you're zoomed all the way in. And it's still really, really sharp when you're zoomed all the way in. And when it's wide, you get these really beautiful landscape shots. And when it's medium, you get this. You get like amazing... Uh, everything shots <laughs> and it's so small it literally fits in your pocket i'm shooting with it right now i'm shooting with the rx100 mark 7 right now pretty much any of the rx100 cameras have this quality the rx100 mark 7 which is this one has an audio jack which i don't use because i always record my audio separate but what i like about it is it has the new amazing autofocus that tracks your eye so no matter where i go it'll keep me in focus and that is really good about that. And it has the new Sony color science. So it's great skin tones and great eye auto tracking focus. It's not a cheap camera. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. If you want high power in a small package that you can fit in your pocket, this is the camera to get. It's just so amazing. I can't say enough about this camera. You can do 960 frames per second. That's pretty much a thousand frames per second slow motion with this camera, which is super amazing. I mean, I don't want to get in all the tech stuff about it, but the thing I like about it the most is that it's so small, it's so practical, and it's small. And did I say it was small? <laughs> and the quality. Look at the quality of this thing. I love it. It's great. So for just having a backup camera to your full frame, it intercuts pretty good with the full frame stuff. Here's full frame. Here's the RX100. I used the uh, RX100 for the close-up zoomed in telephoto. I didn't have a really long telephoto. So I used the RX100 as the telephoto shot and my full frame camera as the wide shot. And they intercut pretty darn good. And here I used the RX100 for the wide shot. And here I used the full frame for the close-up. I am actually considering having several of these cameras, one for the wide shot, one for the close-up. And then you've got the most lightweight travel package of all. I mean, literally two pocket cameras where you can do the wide and the telephoto close up. You can fit them in your pocket and keep going. So it's just amazing. I just love it. I love this camera. I, did I say that? I think I did. If you really want to travel light, this is the camera to use. You can get really slick stuff with it. Not a lot of depth of field. You do get some if you're telephoto all the way, but for high quality, in your pocket, on the go, wonderful. So again, this is being filmed with the RX100 Mark 7 right now. I can't say enough about this camera. I am going to continue. Look at that. Look at this set. Look at that. How beautiful that is. I'm going to now continue doing fun things on location with my camera stuff. So stay tuned next week for another uh, inspirational, educational, fun, whatever. Spend five minutes with Marcus time. I will see you in the next video. Until then, have fun with photography. I'll see you then. Bye.